This time around it's going up. So what you get is something of a clash or a, a, a it's a crushed note idea. The two notes are jutting up against each other really closely. So that's between 14 and 15, right? 14 and 15 right next to each other. You don't get the same sound when it's the octave lower, right? So again, that's something to kind of explore. If you want to bring other voices out, add 12 to them. 12 plus 7, 19. Right? That's where we're going to. Let's just try one more thing, because that's now made me sort of think, ah, we could do that. Right? So I'm going to take this one, which is the shift 2. There we go. I found it. It was all the way up there. So let's say that we start at, at um, 7, which is here. And let's say that we take that up to 19 there. Right? This is how we can, we can get a, other sorts of voice sounds sort of in there by automating those voices. So this is just modulating the fifth so that it, it bounces up and down. It bounces between being 19 and being 7. Drops. Goes up. So I, the way I kind of hear this is that it should come back down to the 7 there. So what we're doing now is melodicizing this kind of chord tool. Mm -hmm. Right? Just by modulating one voice, the fifth, in this instance. Let's have a look at what that looks like here. Seven. Nineteen. Dropping back down. Seven. And then going back. 